video today, I'm going to be talking about someone who claimed that he is not the victim. His name is Lava G.S. And he has made a long tweet to inform people that he was not the victim. And he goes there by accusing a Cheeto and sensitive society for making a video about Lava GS, even though they never even mention his name once in their videos, which was only about Ava Chris Tyson. These videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Can you do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies? This situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online. I am not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. Okay, cool. You're not the victim at all. That's great. But did you actually stop and actually took the time to watch Sensitive Society's video? Because here's Sensitive Society's response to you. Hi, you got the wrong channels here, man. I never talked about you or your situation. I didn't even know it happened. The videos in question talk about something else. I would appreciate it if you corrected because now people are saying that I'm spreading misinformation when once again, I didn't even talk about you or your situation. Thank you. Sensitive Society was just being nice to Lava GX, but then this happened. It's been four hours and this guy keeps framing me for something I didn't even do. I get it. People make mistakes. I reached out to him a few times in no response. Now I'm being told I'm spreading lies and misinformation when I didn't even talk about this guy or his situation. This is getting ridiculous. But over one day later, take this shit down. It's been over a day and you're wrong, you idiot. Maybe Lava GS has very good attentions to leaving a tweet out since he's very defiant by not taking them down. I am not a victim and I am not backpedaling any statements I have already made. Everything I have stated is still very true. Nothing bad happened between me and Chris. People are creating lies around my name. Yesterday, while under a lot of stress from trying to get my story out as quickly as possible, I made a mistake and included two videos in a tweet that had nothing to do with my situation. Here are the correct videos and these one should be taken down. I apologize to the creators of the original videos in the first screenshots the Cheeto and not sensitive society. Well, at least he's sorry for the mistake he caused. It's fine. Only 14 million people have seen the blame lies you spread about me even after I DM'd you to take it down. And while you may not call yourself a victim, I do believe Tyson was behaving inappropriately around you when you were 13. Yeah, he should have made a correction like earlier on then this situation wouldn't have blown out of proportion. It only took 30 hours to get a reply from this person after putting me on blast in front of 15 million people. And his tweet framing me is still up. I legitimately wish the worst for you. Hey, hey, hey. At least he apologized and was defiant on not leaving his statement down and added a correction. So that's something. Maybe you should have verified your sources before letting someone else post those videos that you had nothing to do with. That's because Sensitive Society's videos literally had nothing to do with Lava GS. It literally had everything to do with Ava Chris Tyson involving herself with Shadman. Can you people not read? The videos I made never talked about Lava. These came out before the Lava stuff. How can people be this stupid? Holy shit. Well, as the great Judge Judith Scheinlin once said, beauty fades, dumb is forever. 
you uh, didn't read my whole tweet, did you? I did. Your tweet makes no sense. Now, Fee for Dreams is a small commentary YouTuber who has 3.3k subscribers. He gives his take on the Lava GS situation. It took an entire day to apologize and take back your statement for basically slandering two people, even though you were well aware of it all yesterday and just sat there on the whole thing, radio silence, letting people go accuse a Cheeto and sensitive of something they never did. Like I said, he should have made a correction earlier on and the situation wouldn't have blown out of portion. Uh, his sorry ass had to do was watch the videos, so I can't believe him in saying he wasn't groomed when he has, showing he will knowingly lie. Yeah, and even if he isn't lying, he could easily still be under the effect of the grooming. You don't just grow out of it, your relationship with the third person ended on a good note, so he could still carry that good faith he had in Chris from back then. And it's not his call to make. Imagine the amount of fetal freaks who could get off scot-free if that was a lie. Kids cannot reasonably consent to those types of engagements. Any fucking adult that's not mentally disabled should know this. I'm pretty sure some people have experienced trauma when they were being groomed inappropriately. And yes, kids are not mentally capable enough to, to be consenting to any sexual acts whatsoever. Full stop. I'm grateful that Luffa GS apologized. But next time, when he makes a tweet like this, to defend himself, he has to be able to check his tweet before he hits send or tweet. That way he would have called out Brion or Prison42 for spreading misinformation about Lava GS. And again, I feel bad that you were under a lot of stress, but he could have taken the time to just do that. Instead of screenshotting the wrong videos to accuse the wrong people who were not involved in your situation whatsoever because they knew nothing about you in the first place. So just be careful next time when you call out someone for spreading misinformation. Okay, so don't rush and take your time to collect the evidence of the people who you're calling out against.